Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the all new, brand new tank. This is a FPV quadcopter frame by Let's Fly RC, who is a team member of the Rotor Riot family. He put this frame together. I've got it. I built it. I'm blown away. Really, before we dive into this video, there's one thing I'd like to say, and that is Let's Fly RC, you should have built a frame a lot sooner. Let's go. Uh, uh. Alright pilots, so I am super stoked about this because I was actually at Rotor Riot Quads and Coffee and I ran into Let's Fly RC and he said, hey, check out my new frame and I was like, boom, I shot over, I checked it out and I was like, damn, that is nice. One of the biggest, mainest features that he brought up was that the arms are eight millimeters. I have built one of the thickest armed frames on the market, which was the Wasp at seven millimeters. And I literally to this day have still not broken an arm and I fly that drone all the time. And I just can't be more excited because I'm gonna take this thing out to the field right now you guys are going to get to see what other pilots think of this. You guys are going to get to see this thing in the air, flying, taking hits, taking crashes. Should you buy one is the question. It is an $85 frame. It's got the 8 millimeter arms. It's got the aluminum camera plates. It's got a stack size of 30 by 30. The stack height is 20 millimeters. Motor mounting is 16 by 16, which is pretty freaking standard. You've got your wheel base of 220 millimeters. Your frame style is a squished X, if you haven't noticed. Uh, this thing is going to be hot, and this thing is going to fly great. And the way that he did it all, it doesn't really come with any 3D printing, so you will need to go ahead and purchase a kit or go ahead and print your own. I printed my own. I went with these super awesome arm connectors that he has. They like go over the arm, and then there's a bottom insert piece, which I printed in Pet G because that's what he recommended. 3D printing, really the only thing that the frame comes with is right here inside for the camera mounting brackets or the camera mounting design is 3D printed and you get these cool two little purple ones that are right there and right there. Now this is not an unusual type of way of doing this. This is actually quite popular among the Rotor Riot family because Ladrib does his like this and Bubby on the Moxie does his like this as well. And I will tell you right now on both of those frames that I still have, that I still fly, that are still doing good. I've had zero, zero issues with my camera being sloppy or flapping around or flopping around or getting loose or coming out in a crash or anything like that. So it's an absolutely smart design. While I'm showing you this, you can see here the absolute monster thickness that this camera cage is. Look at that. It connects the fat old arms to the front plate. You've also got the back plate and that's where your Vista would go. You can also mount a full DJI air unit. You can mount the avatar style. You can go HD zero by Fat Shark. You can literally mount it all in here and there's different ways to run your antenna. That's up to you what you do. I went with this mount because I have the newer style antenna that comes with the newer Vistas. One of my favorite things about these arm protectors is that it's two pieces and both of these two pieces do not affect the motor, which is not normal. Normally, we're putting skids or FPV slides by my FPV, and what you're doing with those is you're putting them underneath the arm, and then you're cramming screws into them, which is actually pulling the motor down but holding on the skid. In this scenario, it's not like that at all. I can pop this off right now. Those screws are not held in at all by these feet and arm protectors. So if I lose one, break one, change one, want a new color, doesn't matter. I can literally pop them off, change them, and put them back on, as well as changing a motor itself. I can take off this motor, replace it for a new one, and it would not affect my arm or my skid in any way. Now, if you haven't noticed, I went ahead and threw on a 32 piece LED strip. It goes across the entire back. I did not put one on the front 
because it's bright and I don't want it to affect my camera view or be appearing while I'm flying, giving me any types of glares or issues. So I went ahead and shot one in the back and this is not like LED race wire. This is actual programmable LEDs where I was able to match my awesome, beautiful theme of the light blue mixed with the purple. So we're gonna power this up and you're gonna notice my Larson scanner is going in a beautiful ice blue and purple, which is what our theme is. I wanted the best for this frame because I have very, very high hopes for it, and I do believe that I'm gonna be flying it for quite some time due to its sturdy design and its absolutely amazing physique. Look at this, this thing is solid as a rock. I feel like I could and nothing would even be affected. Now with that being said, I went with the MK4 version 2 H7 4th generation flight controller by Diatone. This is a Mamba flight controller and it is packed with features. I was so excited to put this in a frame. I can't wait to feel how it flies. I know I'm not gonna be upset. And also another little perk, this guy has built-in Wi-Fi. So when I take it out to the field, if I have any issues at all, I'll just bust out my phone boom boom jump on this guy and get it adjusted with no computer no nothing that's a nice plus and if you haven't done that or don't know how to do that you should get on that because that's not something you want to miss out on so for my ESC, I went with the 46 amp crater. This is a big, beautiful ESC with beautiful MOSFETs and a great layout. I feel like this ESC is gonna do absolutely great with the flight controller and with the frame. For my motors, I went with the Foxeer Datoras. I don't know if you've seen these or have heard of these. These are 2207 and a half, 1960 KV. And that teal color, look at that match game. <laughs> That is looking good and I am stoked. I, I just, I love the way this looks. I love the way this came out. I cannot wait to take this to the sky. So enough messing around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and strap up. I'm heading out to the field. We're gonna find out what do other pilots think of it. Then in a recent video, I was flying my brand new Demibot and I went for a stupid, stupid, <laughs> stupid trick. And I totally missed the whole thing and smacked the top of this concrete roof at like full speed while coming down and I landed both flat on both arms just like that and of course it broke them because no drone in the world would survive that crash uh, and by the way that frame has held up absolutely amazing until that crash <laughs> love that drone and I will be getting more arms for it but what that means for this guy is I'm going back to the same spot and I'm gonna go back for that same trick and I'm gonna land it with this quadcopter or I'm going home with this thing broken so we're gonna find out what happens we're gonna get other pilots opinions I'm super super stoked I hope that you guys are too let's head out to the field Two seconds first all right Oh, is that the cinema? What, what do you think? What are your thoughts, sir? Oh! You gotta go! We almost died just now. Yes, we I did. Know, right? All right, what are your thoughts? Initial thoughts, then look at it closely. Give me your, your in depth well, you gotta, thoughts. In, initial, you gotta initial. Initial thoughts. Initial go. thoughts. Go. No, 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 okay, go. Or initial thoughts. Real blown quick. away. Real initial quick. thoughts, initial go. thoughts. This is a very... <laughs> but you know, initial thoughts, but you, you have an in-depth thought, but this is your initial. Looking at it very quickly, what are your initial thoughts? My initial thoughts is it looks like a very nice, clean... Boat. Okay, okay, now let's go more in-depth with it. Right. Right. There we go, right. that's right. what I was looking here for. Here we go. All right, what are we looking at here? We're looking at the tank. This is the tank from Let's Fly RC. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right. I've been looking at this frame. I was going to get it myself. Initial... First reaction, first initial thoughts. It's a very clean bill, but what do you expect coming yeah, from yeah, the train yeah, right, man, right? right? You know? Right. Oh. Uh. So, I honestly though, it looks beefy as shit. I'd like to see it, yeah. yeah. Any I questions? It, no, man, it's- Those are eight millimeter arms. God Yeah, big damn. arms, big arms. Got the Fox right, here, right. Detroit, 1960. Oh, okay, okay. What's it weigh, do you know? I don't. Oh. Uh, I'll put it on the scale when yeah, I yeah we need we need to see what it weighs and then I'd say I'd say send it we're gonna have to see how does it, holds it feel up heavier than a normal frame 
It's a little bit beefier, yeah, I'd say. You know, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I mean... That's without battery and GoPro, too. Yeah, yeah. You know? But, I mean... What do you think? Eight, 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 800? Toilet bowl configuration. Ooh, I did see that, yep. Yeah. Okay. See, I like it, though. <laughs> Have you guys seen this frame? Nah, man. What, what the hell is this? Oh, shit. What are your initial thoughts versus your in-depth thoughts? It's a funny looking moon goat. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, cold. The, I'm immediately drawn to the camera cage. That shit looks uh, pretty intricate and tough. Pretty strong. It's kind of got that same uh, 3D print that the Skyliner and the Moxie have. How thick are these arms? Eight millimeters. Holy oh, Jesus. Eight millimeters. Yeah, it looks like a tank. Let's looks find like a, a tank. Let's uh, find a wall for you to go full yeah, let's sand. Find a wall. Let's test it. I'm gonna try to hit that uh, trick that I failed with the demi bot. Dude, I like these camera cages though. That right there. How that camera cage goes up on top of those arms. Yes. That's. I like that. That's you gonna like save. That? That's gonna save that. All right, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right, here we go. We got. We got a good view. Alright, here we go. I have not tested it, so... Oh, yeah, that makes me feel super comfortable about being right fucking next to it. Okay, there we go, there we go. Let's Bitch out. Come, come in front of us and do a punch out? Did you do that already? I have not. Oh, man, let's hear this. Right here? Yeah, any resonance? That is on 22. Yeah, just shoot up. Straight up. That sounded really good. Yeah, that sounds really good, man. I can't even inflict prop wash. I'm like trying yeah. to. Get a Maddie, Maddie the Marble? No, no, no. Marble. The, uh... Maddie the Marble! <laughs> Come on, just do it. You might as well. All right, let's do it. Maddie the Marble. Maddie Get it. The Marble. Here we Got go. it. Ready? All day. I know! The Savannah do not have the, enough power. The grip? You gonna yeah. try one more time? I gotta change props. I wish the GoPro Dude, was recording. it just went off. Oof. Yeah, oh, did you break a motor? No, you're good, a little bit of sand. Bro, I Dude, got I, every single one. You have it, and then you're like... There's not enough power. Throttle, no, but you throttled out of the last one, and then like you went back into the building. <laughs> Ripped that oh, off. Oh, shit. That's okay. Dude, I Dude, the, the first, first one, one I smacked that full I th one. I thought you were. I thought you broke something on yeah. the first one. Yeah, it this went. This thing's a tank. I know. I can't believe it. Nothing broke on it. <laughs> oh my god. The thing is, though. Oh, yeah, GoPro. Uh, the the battery when you. I need to change your GoPro battery. When you hit it, hit. Look here, you can see the tear up. Maybe that's what's stopping me from. Uh, I can't recover. I don't know. Ooh. Dang. Ooh, all the way down on that brand new print though. But dude, that, that was fucking knocked it out of line. Fully sending it. 
Yeah. All right, pilots, what did you guys think of all of that? That is super awesome. Jump down in the comments. Let me know. Give a shout out to Let's Fly RC. He did an amazing job. He should have built a frame sooner. That's all I got to say. That is the theme of this video. Let's Fly RC, in my personal opinion, and I'm no professional, you nailed it, buddy. And I think that you should be designing and building more frames. You do all kinds of cool stuff in the community. You really push the bar in trying new and wild and crazy things. And I love it. I think that this is a beautiful design. I'm definitely going to be flying more of them. I'll put a link to the Rotor Riot store for this frame down in the video description so anybody who else wants to get one can go ahead and pick one up. I hope that you guys are excited as I am. I hope that you guys had a blast. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.